Oh, God. This time I was supposed to do that, right? We're tiny again. I'm really scared that I'm fucking it up when I'm this tiny. <laughs> Big brain. I mean, it, it, yeah, but it's kind of what we did before. Oh, God. Now what? How do I get up there? Oh, I'm tiny again. Is this supposed to happen? I don't know. I don't want to jump down there just in case I fuck it up. Oh, here we go. Very clever game. Very clever. Am I going to be tall enough to reach the button? Yes, I'm talking about the game. All right, leave me alone. There you go. Yes. Oh, it's a little key cat. I'm not very consistent with these times of sleeping, am I? Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Hey? B? C? I have no idea. Anyone got a faintest idea about what's going on? Oh shit. Okay. Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day. Oh, except it's not. Except it is. Except it's not. I've just realised that opens when I do that. Oh shit. What? Not gonna lie, this is more of a mind feck than some horror games. Dr. Glenn Pierce, thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. 
Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Going around in circles. Oh no, maybe not. What? I mean, it's, it's... Oh! Christ on a bike. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions oh, that could not be found otherwise. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I meant to do it. Get me the fuck out of here before I die. <laughs> Oh, there's no poster in this one. We're in a loopy loop. Are you lucid dreaming? I have absolutely no bollocking tits, Magoo idea. Um, what? Okay. So when the exit I think I'm missing some of it here. So, when the exit is on the sign of the door, it goes ding! Like this. Right. So, this is going to be fine. But then I don't know if there's. See, this isn't going to be fine. So. Can I turn that around or something? Or what? I don't know what I'm doing. Roma, well, thanks for the gifted, lovely. So it's gonna go eh. Right. And we start again. What am I missing? That's fine. That's not fine. This isn't gonna work. Um I always think that there's some of that I need to do here then. Like, if I could change that around to the other way, we'd be fine. Okay. 
Why is it not doing it now? What was I doing differently before? I wasn't doing anything. I did nothing. What the hell? I get it. I get it. I just don't know how to... Turn it the opposite way. Can't click on anything. There's, there ain't anything to pick up, bro. Or Scooby. I get it, so you need to get that to go on the right hand side so you can go out and it goes ding, but I don't know how you get it to move. And there's nothing that I can pick up or click on or whatever. So I don't know why the first time we did it, how we got it to move from the right to the left. I just thought it did it after a while or whatever, but now it's stopped. What is, what's it got to do with these, if anything? Oh, right, okay. Right. That's fine. But it's going to do it again now, because that's... Just supposed to go the opposite way all the time. Right, there you go. Think about I got it. So you go the opposite way of the hall. Right, there you go. Got it. So you go the opposite way of the light. Okay, fine. It was driving me insane, that one. That was difficult, that one. Oh, mate. What? Oh, shit. I can't pick up. Music's mint. Okay. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every oh, patient, shit. you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms.
Oh, I got clay. Yep, meant to do that one. carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Did we do it? Oh shit. Now what? Oh god, mate. It's trippy as balls, this video game. Very well done. Oh god, of course it's a fucking... It's a room, isn't it? <sighs> Just when you think you're out of it. Is there a door then? Very well done. It's one of those games where the gimmick is obviously what it is. And then you think about how long it is that they can keep it going for. Thinking that it might only be about an hour or something. But the way they've just like recycled it unusual. over and over again. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Sorry, bro. Okay. Was that supposed to happen? Or was that a bug? Conception? I won't be in there. Broken. Okay. What is it that we're missing? Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state states. states. What? Why is this here? Why is that a thing? Think, Paolo. Think. So do I need to make myself super duper tiny? Hang on.
I don't want to come back later, lad. I'm here. So why is this playing music? Why are you playing music, sir? What? The oh! Okay, I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Um. What the shit? Either you've got to be really small to get through something, or... There's a... There's a gap or something. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm stuck. Help me out, love. I'm not got a Scooby Doo. I mean, I get it. Like this is, this is is where we are. Oh, I don't think you put it on the vent. The fuck do you do with it then? Do we have an inception moment? No. It's tiny that though, isn't it? <gasps> Look. Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. Over See you Moxie. Please That's over what the the board was talking about. It took me long to, it took me long enough that, didn't it? Not an exit, okay. But you're lying. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. No. Is there anything we can pick up? Mate. This game is trippy, this game is trippy.
but in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Okay, now what? There's no stairs, there's nothing, I can't move! Clever. Okay. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing something. I don't know what it is though. What is it? I'm taking it up there. Maybe if I keep doing the same thing over and over again, the game will like feel sorry for me. Then again. Ah, oh, come on! Now what are we doing? Where's my favourite colour? Oh, do you go in like one of these, maybe? No. Somewhere like there, but I don't know if that's just a glitch. Oh, I got a clue. Again, there's nothing that we can, like, pick up or whatever. What's it got to do with that, though? Oh! You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope <laughs> that you won't get discouraged. Thanks. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here?
Shit. I was afraid of that. Fuck. Okay. Oh! Wait, what? Okay, what did I do before? I did that. But I did that, right? Okay. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, video again. I'm not gonna fall down there again. There you go. I didn't think I was going to make that. Bastard. Son of a bitch. This time jump, dickhead. <laughs> there we go. See you later, Olivia. Thanks for joining us. Have fun at work. <laughs> oh. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure 
that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Metaphor for life, that chat. Did you win? I have no idea. I don't even know if you can win. No. Is it? Oh. First, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. I did that. of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? Oh, did I find my way? But Yay! Just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wake up. Did we do it? Oh, that was a great game. My ass is gone numb now. That was a cracking game, that. I really enjoyed that one. I was like... 50-50 on whether play that game or not. Because I was like, puzzle games, I don't know... Well, how long it would take me, to be honest, first of all. But then... I thought, sod it, we'll give it a go. And we did. And then, look what happened, we completed it! Yay, guys! We're so smart. Chat, we're so smart. 